Welcome back to the channel guys. Today you're about to see uh, two noobs go at trying to repair a hydraulic cylinder on a fuel cultivator. It's gonna be rough. It's gonna be real rough. But we're trying to get ready for spring, for spring planting. And this year I'm getting everything done way ahead of time. We're gonna be, we're gonna be prepared this year compared to last year. Last year was a mess. We're gonna go through the planter and grease everything on the planter, check everything. There's a couple springs. I have, there's a couple springs I gotta replace on there I know. Grease it. Um, I didn't run many acres, so it should be pretty much good to go. And then with the tractor, we're gonna switch out all the weights and I actually got a rock box for the tractor that we're gonna to toss on the front of here. It'll just be handy for just holding things around too when I'm by myself, so that'll be nice. I think we're gonna throw, uh, I brought, Spencer brought some paint, so we're gonna paint this rock box, clean it all up real nice. I'm missing one bolt here, and then this thing should be ready to go on the front here. And I think the mounting should be the same. Yeah, should work. The guy had it on a 8310, real nice gentleman I bought it from, he had it on an 8310. So we're gonna put this on the front. I think this is heavy, it should weigh six, 700 pounds, I think. Should be nice. Watch the truck. Those guys are working on getting the hydraulic cylinder off, so I'm gonna get this spray paint, that way we can get one layer on, and then we'll probably do, heck, we'll probably do another layer. Hopefully this is the same exact paint, it should be. looking decent. I think once it dries, it'll dry and blend a little better here. We're only doing the outside here just to touch it up, clean it up real nice. It's actually making a, a bad painter look pretty good. It's drying pretty good. So this slides out for the wing fold, the side fold, in case you guys didn't see what a fuel cultivator slides out, tips it completely down. This is a big hydraulic cylinder that folds out the wings. And uh, let's see, when I have it down, and I'm even in the field, it's leaking hydraulic fluid out of here and it's dribbling pretty darn good out of there. So it's just the seal right here that's uh, that's broke. And so if we pull this apart, I think we can just replace this. We have a whole kit for it. Saturday and John Deere's closed and there's a piece that we're struggling to get in here and I think we got to get a different piece piece at John Deere so got to wait till Monday Monday sometime I'll run to John Deere and we'll uh, get this piece I'll probably take this in and see if they can do something about this here because this piece is not one to go in here but this was the problem child right here just one little seal you got about uh Three inches. Keep going. Two inches. Keep going. It's up. Right there, you touched it. Okay, now go up a tad. Good. We're going to try and get these wheel weights off the uh, rear wheel weights off the tractor here. So it's out, hey, Dean. It's 
all you. Go. Grab them back here. We got it. We got it on. We did not at all get help from the John Deere counter guy. Alright, so there's the old one. New one. Yep, new one. Wouldn't mind getting some hydraulic oil on it. There you go. Alright, what? This definitely slides on something. Alright, let's get the new one. It's right here. There's the new one. It goes in the middle. Just hit it lightly. Just Well, we gummed up the piece on that trying to put it on, so we're gonna run to deer quick and try and uh, get a new piece. I think I got a way to put it on without gumming it up this time. We'll try and torque it on with the uh, impact. If we screw this next seal up, then we're calling it for today. Come back another day and uh, we'll, we'll fix it then. So now that we got our new bag of parts, I hope we don't break this seal kit too. They're 30 bucks a piece and we've gone through one of them already. Rubber seal in there that I'm gonna pry out of there. Get that out of there because we scuffed that one up. And then we'll toss a new one in there if I can get it in there. And then put on that kit and try not to screw it up this time. Here's the old piece we scuffed up. And then we should have a new one. Okay, that should be good to go on there. Can't screw it up, so that's... See? If this works out, this should go on easy. It shouldn't catch, we shouldn't have to push. I just got done watching like 30 minutes worth of YouTube and everybody that does these can just slide theirs on pretty much by hand and here we are hitting it with a hammer and stuff. It makes me think something's wrong on that. Even though we have the right part on it. I know we have the right part on it. Maybe I just installed it wrong. We need more lube. That's what we need. You think it was maybe the wrong way or something? The other one shouldn't have been tough either. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why I was thinking, I was like, if we didn't know what way it was going on, we were running this hard, we would have pulled it off, flipped it. Yeah. And then put it on the wrong way. Most guys are just shoving it by their hand almost. Yeah, yeah. Be on the other end. Come on here. Ready? Yep. Jesus. And take 103. Okay, that's going on. We actually drilled a hole through this. And we're gonna try taking the impact Tightening the bolt that's going to put pressure here to hopefully get this to slide on. Here we go. So that it's not impact, it'll be sledgehammer. You don't want, you can't use impact? No, it's thicker than the oh. Well, sledgehammer, yeah, sledgehammer would work. Jesus Christ. 
Here, actually, you, you know what you can do even more? Hold it. It's gonna go through the. Oh, uh, actually, right? Okay, you're right. It went. It went? Yeah. It went. Oh my god. It went. It's on there. Oh my oh. god! Yeah! You got it, baby! Oh, nice. What the heck? So I think you just needed a square of pressure, you know. Oh, on there. You needed a template like that. Yeah. That, it should, it should be tough. Yeah. There's no way we're getting that by hand. Like everybody else in the videos, we're just bumping it and we had to take a sledgehammer. But except we got this beautiful vice set up here, boys. <laughs> we are high status at Hilbert Farms. We have a vice now. This thing's coming in handy. Yeah, on a really nice, sturdy bench. <laughs> <laughs> My, uh, my grandmother was moving out of her house, actually, we were helping clean out the house, and she had this old vice downstairs, and we were looking at it, and we were like, I think we should maybe take this with us, so we did steal it from her. Thank you, Grandma. Okay, hold on. We got lube, right? Yeah, it's okay. There you go, there you go. So now you're on the seal. So now if you... If you got a label, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay. Hold on. It, you, once you get it, it's gonna go probably. I think that seal needs to be collapsed more. Last time we put on this, we have two kits now. We like stretched it pretty much, and so we're gonna try and put it on again without stretching it. What happened is this would catch when we slid it over top and it would just break this apart. So we'll put this on and then we'll get the, uh, get an oil wrench and lock it on. I mean, look at how much we gotta do one side at a time. Quick stretch. Good, good. If you look, Get, it kind of bulges out, and so we need to not have it bulge out. Put it on there. Put it back on there. Yeah. Make sure it's on there on both back side. Okay. Side's pass. More, more. The, other, other side, kind of. Yeah, you're almost past. Just kind of. Hold on, let me check the bottom. Okay, go. Oh. Yep. Yeah. There we go. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> this vice is probably gonna fall. <laughs> That might be the end or no? No. Okay, moment of truth. That is going on. We're gonna fire up the tractor once we get if we hopefully we get it on and then run it. See what happens here. Other pin towards the middle. Gotta extend it out. Do it too, man. There. Alright, gotta send it back in and catch it with the pin. Too close, too close. In. Okay. Momo of truth. We're gonna see if this worked. Truck. Yeah. It's all in there, right? I think we're gonna, I'm gonna have to probably let it run and then it's gonna fill the cylinder with fluid, get all the air out, and then it should go, is what I'm thinking. 
Ready? Yeah! Oh! Dang! No, but that could be! See, it's pulling back! It's Good! See, it's pulling that one back up. It could be something with it was needing to fill up with, with, with fluid and it went. But let me keep kind of going and we'll see what happens here. I'm surprised it pushed it out so far. Maybe it needs to kind of, maybe add air in it or something. Or maybe they're going vice versa because we have one of these switched. So that's working. So that's how it's supposed to be. Got the planter out i still got to go through the planter um put all the seed plates in make sure everything's to spec just look at look at it go over it watch a couple youtube videos note figure out what i'm doing you know stuff like that um what else springs these down pressure springs they're the light duty ones they don't work the best in no-till um so i may i gotta replace some of these but i was kind of maybe looking to put some heavy duty uh, I think they're like a hundred, hundred and fifty or a hundred. They're over. They're, they're they're more heavy duty than these down pressure springs that go right here. So the row unit actually has some more down pressure. Last year we ran into issue even with beans. It seemed like I couldn't even get enough down pressure. Keep in mind it was it was pretty dry last year, but still it'd be nice to have a little more down pressure. But no, I'm excited. I'm pumped to get this thing out. Actually get out of. I literally sit on the computer pretty much all day, all week, and it's gonna be fun to actually get out and plant during the week. Just get outside. Spence and me, we're still searching. If anybody has a machine with a long arm and a bucket and a thumb that weighs maybe like 50,000 pounds and has two tracks on each side, let me know. Cause me and Spence are searching for one. He's, uh, he sent me, he has like a Google doc list of like 12 different machines that are for sale. And we had, we went and looked at a couple machines and we should have bought the first one, but we passed, we, 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 they didn't come down to our offer and then we should have bought this. We didn't, we should have bought the second one. Second one. The first one, the first one would have been good. It was just a little rough and he's looking for an old cat. He's looking yeah. for an old cat. I was thinking because we have so many, all the farms need cleaned up like bad. And that's kind of why you buy them a little discounted because they're ugly and stuff and they need some work to clean up. It's, if you guys see them in person, some of the farms are kind of ugly. So hopefully we can keep them clean. So if anybody's got a big cat for sale. If you have, if anybody has a big cat for sale, hit this guy up. He's uh, he's trying to buy one. Yeah. We're going, uh, he'll be 51% owner. I'll be 49% owner. That's right. That it. way it's mine. It'll be, uh, big Spencer's excavator, not Grant. We could, we could get stickers made. We could get stickers made. But anyways, guys, seriously, thanks for watching this one.